All right, Papa Swolio, weight has plateaued in calorie deficit. How to break through it? Lift more fucking weights. What are you trying to do? I always, I'm trying to look in your picture in the in your avatar. What I don't like are people that do calorie deficits that need to put on more mass. There are a lot of people out there just saying I can't tell ice cold Brett, but try to put on muscle. Forget those deficits. Pack on mass and then you'll be able to lose extra body fat and still eat a lot more food. I really am not a big fan of calorie deficits. I just think people should be focusing more on building muscle. A lot of people, when they first start lifting, and when I say first start lifting, this does not mean first three months. I mean your first five years or so, easily. You're worried too much about trying to cut. You need to be packing on mass. Now, this might not mean overeating, but if you're building lean muscle tissue, you're building muscle, you are going to lose fat a lot easier because it's harder to eat in a surplus. I mean, it's, it's hard. Yeah, it's harder to eat in a surplus. You need to build more lean muscle tissue because then your metabolism will increase and then it's much easier to eat in a deficit. And more often than that, you just need to drop the carbohydrates, lose some extra water weight because people drastically overestimate their ability to measure their body fat percentage. Unless you're getting DEXA scans or underwater weighing, you're just approximating. You're doing a bioelectrical impedance. You're stepping on a scale that sends a pulse through your body and says, hey, you're this percent body fat. That stuff's pretty much bullshit. You need to look in the mirror. You need to take pictures. You need to do circumferential measurements, or you can shut the fuck up, pack on mass, and eat big. Eat plenty of protein, at least a gram per pound of body weight. Keep your fats high and keep your carbs low moderate. Okay. You know, sweet potatoes, don't be sucking down tons and tons of sugary protein bars and shakes and crap like that. You don't need weight gainers and all that garbage. Save your money on all the supplements. Seriously, you should be saving your money on the supplements and focusing on quality foods. You're not going to be able to sit down, sit there and eat garbage quality food and then think you're going to make it up with a protein shake. Not going to happen. Lift big, eat big, build muscle, and it'll be much easier to trim fat, which I'm assuming is what you want to do. But I need to know a little bit more about what you're, where you're at. But I always try to put my foot down and tell people to fucking lift more weights, lift more weights. And I think one of the real challenges there is when you want to lose fat, you have this <gasps> hardcore anxiety about eating a lot of food and training hard because you think you're going to gain more fat. That's not what's going to happen. If you're lifting weights, your body is going to utilize fat stores for energy because you're actually increasing your resting use of calories. So at a resting period, like right now, I am at rest. I am utilizing more energy than the average person because the mass that I have is lean mass. It's muscle tissue my body has to maintain. It's not stored energy, it's living tissue that my body is maintaining. So the calories that I consume every day are going to repair my muscle and to feed my body to maintain my muscle. And the reason why my body is maintaining my muscle is because I train regularly and my body knows that we got another session coming up. My body is so used to training and breaking down and repairing muscle tissue that it knows that it needs to rebuild muscle tissue. If I stop, if you don't use it, you lose it. And over time, the muscle will waste away and uh, you'll be left with more fat stores and, and the like. So you have to force your body into that adaptation. If you have more, more lean mass, your metabolism will go up. And then let's say you are balanced out maintenance around 1800. Well, if you lift weights, your maintenance can be around 24 and then you can eat to more of your satisfaction eating 22,000, 2100, maybe it's 2400 calories your maintenance and you can be eating 2000, 2200, 2300 calories, be in a deficit, but be more than satisfied because you're eating tons and tons of food and your body is sending those nutrients to rebuild muscle tissue and then you're trimming off the extra for those resting longer duration, lower intensity time periods, like sitting on a computer or sitting in a car or taking a shit, your body is utilizing elevated levels of calories at rest because your metabolism is faster because you have more lean mass. That was good. He's on fire. That should be the last, just come back, just timestamp this, timestamp this episode. So anyone that's talking about cutting and dieting, just come back and listen to this.